Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. President Trump takes a multivitamin to stay healthy, plus some pharma drugs to prevent male pattern hair loss. Contrary to what fake news networks like CNN have been claiming, President Trump is fit as a fiddle, according to White House Dr. Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson, who recently administered the Commander-in-Chief's first annual physical. Not only does the president not have dementia, but both his blood pressure and resting heart rate are ideal. 122 74 and 68 beats per minute, respectively. Beyond this, President Trump also keeps his health in tip-top shape by regularly taking a multivitamin, as well as a pharmaceutical drug known as Propecia that helps to prevent male pattern hair loss. The president's overall health is excellent, Dr. Jackson publicly stated, surely sending millions of anti-Trump lunatics into a state of triggering and mass hysteria. He has incredibly good genes. It's just the way God made him, the Obama-appointed physician added, noting that the president has no serious medical issues. The diagnosis, or lack thereof, runs completely counter to the official media narrative that President Trump is showing signs of physical abnormalities. It also proved false the gossipy media talking heads and their rumor mill chatter about how the president has allegedly been showing early signs of mental derangement. I have no concerns about his cognitive ability," Dr. Jackson added, pointing out President Trump's perfect 30-30 score on the Montreal Cognitive Assessment Test, which screens for Alzheimer's, dementia, and other forms of mental illness. It should be noted here that President Trump actually requested to take this test of his own volition, as it is not a normal requirement as part of the annual presidential physical. Other than needing to lose a few pounds. President Trump is impressively healthy for a 71-year-old man who works virtually non-stop. Almost immediately following Dr. Jackson's statements about the president's clean bill of health, the mainstream media spin machine went into overdrive claiming that it couldn't possibly be true. One fake news report tried to claim that President Trump's reported weight of 239 pounds couldn't possibly be accurate because the man apparently looks larger, according to this talking head who we won't link to. But Dr. Jackson's assessment covered this aspect of the president's health as well. Both Dr. Jackson and the president agree that it would be best for the commander-in-chief to lose between 10-15 pounds over the next year, which they together hope to accomplish by having the president consume fewer carbohydrates and fats. The president has acknowledged that he'd be healthier if he lost a few pounds, Dr. Jackson noted adding that the president's cardiac health is excellent. So as not to be accused of bias, Dr. Jackson also added about President Trump's cardiac health claim, that's not me speaking. That's objective data. The more than four-hour-long physical assessment is a routine occurrence for American presidents at the start of every year. It involves 12 different medical consultants who look at a variety of metrics to assess the health of a sitting president. And for someone who just turned 71 years old back in June, President Trump is pretty much a portrait of good health. As far as his daily exercise routines, the president will reportedly begin working with his wife, First Lady Melania Trump, to develop an aerobic exercise routine that will further improve his health. He already plays golf on the regular, which his critics have been quick to chastise him for, but according to Dr. Jackson, this is actually a very good thing for the president. Being on the golf course, there is a certain amount of exercise involved in that, the University of Texas graduate and Portsmouth Naval Medical Center attendee added. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.